Hello. How are you doing? You guys alright? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hello, how are you doing? Are you guys alright? Um, yeah, how are you doing? You guys being nice and lovely in chat? I see. Be lovely to each other, I guess. Uh, 
Um, nice to have you here. I miss these streams too when I don't do them. Morning Andy, great to hear some music. You've not even heard any yet. Well you have. Bloomers. Oh hi. Um, how are you guys doing? Do you want me to play you a song? Do you want to have a chat? I don't know. What's going on? I hope my sync's okay. I um, briefly checked it and I wasn't too sure, but it looked good enough. Looks good. Cool. Thanks for being a great moderator. You guys are good. I was worried when I started doing these morning streams that I would have like zero moderators because of time zones and stuff, but you guys are good. You guys are good. I can't, what time is it in, in Netherlands slash Belgium? Is it like, is it 11 over there or is it nine? I can't remember which way it goes. Oh, it's 11. Okay, yeah, I guess that's a respectable time to be awake. 10 is difficult for me sometimes. Maybe in the future I'll move these, I don't know. Sometimes I stay up really late and then I'm like, oh, I have to do a stream in the morning. And then, and then it's really hard. And then when I do the stream, it's fine and good, but... Oh, hi, weird fool. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I hope your morning is going well and there isn't too many brain numbing issues to deal with. Um, what should I do? What should I play? Something calming. I might start with Hills of Mexico. I was just thinking the same thing, Mets washed. <laughs> Data center fire in London knocked out our incoming phone calls. Amazing. Is that is that making your life easier or is it making it harder? Because not having to answer the phone all day, for some people, could be a great time. I guess as soon as your phone calls come back in, it gets a bit crazy again, right? That's alright Erin, you don't need to be in chat, I just appreciate your moderation, moderating eye. Paddy West is a new one, yes, no further. 
troubles can be done. Play some ACDC. Man, I should learn an ACDC song on banjo. That'd be a good idea. I do like them. They'd probably be really easy as well. Hmm, interesting. I don't have any, no, I don't know any yet. Probably not. Not sure about Thunderstruck. Let's play this song, because it's already 20 past. And what else are you here for if not watching a man talk shit?
Jazzy Thunderstruck. Yeah, I could do some ACDC. It'd be well easy to play on the ukulele, actually. That's the secret. You've been awake for five hours already. Also, you haven't actually gone to sleep either. Yeah, I stayed up till... The problem is I stayed up till um, about four or five o'clock on Wednesday night. Um, so that was a mistake. And then it got to a Thursday after stream. And I was like, uh-oh. But I think, I think I stayed up till about two and went to bed. And I'm, I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling okay. Um, I love that song. <laughs> Bulldogs with Smoking Paprika. Yeah, I was, I was, um, I was thinking something more like Hell's Bells, or Highway to Hell, or something like that. I don't know. What time is it in England? It's twenty-seven minutes past ten in the morning with Andy. You're playing Sea of Thieves till 4 a.m. today. Yeah, I was yeah, I was up on Wednesday playing playing games like so I was trying to do a render. I was trying to do a render chat um my on my on my work PC. And it was gonna take about three hours. So I, I set it going and then went to my to my leisure PC and just played games and um went back to check on the render before I went to bed and it had uh, it had crashed very close to the end. So then I switched it all off and went to sleep. So that was a time. So then I did the render in the morning and it was fine, but... I'm not, yeah, there's no, it wasn't in the time pressure, I just like, yeah, stayed up really late. Having a good time playing video games, but like... I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't waiting for a render. But I'm fine now. I actually, actually feel way more refreshed than I usually do. On a Friday morning. Hooray for video games. Dave the Barbarian is is an incredible name. Uh, it is a good name. I went to sleep at midnight, woke up at 5am to ready the barbecue and threw some paprika bell peppers on there to make smoked paprika powder later. Man, Budot, you do lots of cool cooking. You do a lot of cool cooking. Why, why do you not live round the corner from me? Why? I, I'm looking forward to the next time you guys can come, or the next time I see you in general. Whether that's in Belgium or, or the UK, I don't know. To bed at 5 a.m. and remember that I was asked to cover a co worker shift at noon. It was awkward. <laughs> I wasn't asking you to send them to the UK. Don't do that. That's such a mood, Andy. I wish Boodot lived in my general area all the time. Boodot! Get in my general area. Do it. I demand that you get in my general area. Um, song? Song? Why don't we do this chat? Why don't? Today, for one night only. I'll do like one banjo song, then I'll play one ukulele song, then I'll play one banjo song. <laughs> I see. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. Might not. Unless something really takes my fancy. 
Bristol is my favourite city ever. <laughs> you can quote that if you want. Yeah. You play Still Alive? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's do Still Alive. From Portal. From Portal. If anybody was watching the Surgeon Simulator 2 stream last night. Um... It was, I was getting so many Portal 2 vibes from it. It was it was super great. I was very impressed actually. It was super good like the work the what they put into the game. It was super fun. Um And I was getting, yeah, mega, mega Portal 2 vibes. It was, it was pretty great. Right. Still alive. This was a triumph. Making a note here, huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science We do what we must because we can For the good of all of us except the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science gets done and when the science gets done and you make a knee gun for the people who are still alive I'm not even angry I'm being so sincere right now Even though you broke my heart and killed me Tore me to pieces And threw every piece into a fire As they burned it hurt Because I was so happy for you Now these points of data make a beautiful line And we're out of beta, we're releasing on time And this, I'm so glad I got burned Think of all the things we learned For the people who are still alive Go ahead and leave me I think I prefer to stay inside Maybe you'll find someone else to help you Maybe Black Mesa That was a joke, haha, <laughs> fat chance Anyway, this cake is great, it's so delicious and moist Look at me still talking when the science to do When I look out there it makes me glad I'm not you Have experiments to run and there's research to be done On the people who are still alive And believe me, I am still alive I'm doing science and I'm still alive I feel fantastic and I'm still alive And while you're dying I'll be still alive And when you're dead I will be still alive Still alive Still alive Some chorus chords issues there, that was fine <laughs>
Thanks, guys. I do. Yeah, that was good. I do. It's probably one of. I I think it's one of the greatest songs ever written. Just just gonna put that out there. No problem, watermelon penguin. It is a bold statement. It's a very bold statement. Need more space shanties? Yeah, we do. I am. Um, yeah. I have very grand ideas in my head. Um, and they don't come to fruition very quickly, but I would love to do um, more of these kind of streams and just like put more time into them. But um, currently it doesn't really fit around the schedule very well. So maybe one day, I don't know, but I don't, yeah. Writing, writing songs is something I'd like to get back into a bit more, but um, maybe whack some originals up on the uh, up on the old list. Oh, thanks for following, Ginger Ninja, zero 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 zero. Good, good space. Space Worms by Future Folk. <laughs> I've not heard that. I don't know who Future Folk are. Future Folk. Um, maybe Troubles now? Somebody was talking about that earlier. So I'm gonna do it now. Crazy talk. song would be fun to play along on my Merlin if I could reach the chords. Is that what it's called, Budot? That little weird thing you put on the Discord? A Merlin. The chords for Troubles are super, super easy. I think it's just, it's literally just two. I think it's just a two chord banger. Um, oh, thanks for the gift sub, Bloomers. Ah, oh, gifting it to Budot. Fifteen months. Thanks, Bluebirds. How long have you been playing banjo, Andy? Uh, since like last August, so like a year now, pretty much. Chords for troubles are like E minor. This isn't E minor. I'm playing cap before. See when you haven't got a time. When your troubles are so deep, you cannot eat no sleep. See when your troubles are like mine. See when your troubles are like mine. It's just two chords. Oh my gosh! Thanks, back man. Thanks for gifting tier three subs. Tier, thanks for gifting three subs to those people. Foff off, patient, purple, G shells. 
eggshells. Patient public and dead metal UT UK. If you guys are in the chat, give a give a give a thank you to Specman. You can't play strings. My fingers don't do that. You play djembe and didgeridoo. Oh, nice, nice. Thanks, Batman. Super cool. Uh, yeah, if anybody, if you want in the Court of Troubles, it's just um. So, in in relation to, unrelated to my capo, it's it's E minor and G all the way through, um, and then I'm playing it uh, G minor. And. B flat. G minor and B flat, that's those are the chords, pretty much. Well, not pretty much. G minor, is it, it is B flat, right? <laughs> Says, son, what can you do? And go to so if you can reach those chords, boot up, you might be having a good time. But yeah, I think someone was asking me in the Discord what the chord, how how to play trouble. So yeah, I I just. Sometimes it's recently it's just been a bit of a pain. Usually it's all right, but like the last two streams, or well, last three. start that again in a minute. Um Man, we were having a big discussion about banjo capos in the in the Discord the other day, so oh I don't know I don't know whether to get a proper one. I'll just stick with the pen lid and engineer something a bit better. I think I'm still going to do that. I.e. buy a packet of blue tack. Um, 
I don't really want to drill holes into my uh, into my into my um, neck either. I don't know. Oh, hey, social. How you doing? Nice to see you. Working on redacted. Great. Hot glue. Don't trust the tacky stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't. I'm not gluing anything to the banjo either. I don't think I want railroad spikes because I use quite a few non-traditional tunings and such um, that I could do. I don't know. When you say hot glue, what do you mean just like... Not glue it to the banjo, glue it to the lid. But how how would the hot glue help it stay on the banjo if it's not glued to the banjo? I don't understand. The banjo your brother wants to give you has railroad spikes up to the 12th fret. What, all the way up? Every single fret? Crazy. I've never seen a banjo like that. I've never seen a... Um, I guess you could just stick them in yourself, but... Usually they're on, like, the traditionally used frets but um like for instance the fret i'm using at the moment isn't isn't usually railroad spiked on banjos um yeah i might need to make a few more capos <laughs> oh railroad spikes so so on some banjos instead of having a capo people put little little tiny nails into the fretboard and with a with a hook on them, so you hook the string underneath the nail, and then it yeah capos that string to that fret, just just for the drone string. <clears throat> so yeah, you you literally nail tiny little hooks into your uh, fretboard, and then you hook your drone string underneath the hook you want, and then tune accordingly. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to get a packet of blue tack, whack it inside the pen lid, and then so it just sticks a little bit more to the fretboard, and then just replace it every now and again. Because I don't have any hot glue here. Um, yeah. And blue tack's super cheap, so... I don't... I don't... I was going to... So I'm going to... I'm going to get some blue tack, stick it inside the pen lid here. And then so it just so it just sticks a little bit to the to the side of the fretboard. That's my plan. Doesn't seem like a great solution. It's it's very it's it's one of the most common drone string things. A lot of a lot of higher up a lot of more expensive banjos have um <clears throat> them already into the nailed into the fretboard, just made like that, so Um, but some, some, depending on where they are, sometimes they're not super useful, um, for everything you want to do. Uh, hi, Brittle Star. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I like the bio lid too. I just wish it stayed where it was. Oh, what about magnets, chat? Maybe I could get some magnets. That would be the high-tech solution. Maybe I could get some rare earth magnets and just like do some magnet shit. How many strings on a banjo? Yes, so somebody said there's no idea there was a drone string on a banjo. It makes sense now. So there's different types of banjos. I'll get I'll play I'll play troubles again soon. There's different types of banjos and they each have different sets of strings and played in different tunings. So if you listen to a lot of Irish music, um people play four string tenor banjos, which are a little bit shorter and they only have four strings and they're tuned like a mandolin or a fiddle. Um, so if you listen to a lot of Irish folk, there's a lot of that, and they're all flat picked, so it's just like lots of lots of flat picking, no no claw hammer, no, um, no finger picks. Uh, so they're used in Irish music and jazz. And then I'm playing a five string banjo, which has five strings, four strings, and a drone, which is used in old time, 
which is what I'm doing right now. And most of the stream, all the claw hammer stuff is um, old time. And then it bluegrass, which is using the finger picks here. But yeah. So yeah, if you if you listen to a lot of like old old like dance bands playing jazz or Irish folk, they'll use four string tenors. Which I don't have and I don't really have much interest in learning, but maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll get one. Right, I'm gonna play a tri try ply ply train. Try playing the song. Here. That string doesn't sound in tune anymore. Well, I tried, chat. I tried playing the song. Let's do that. Oh my gosh. Maybe I just need to be a bit more gentle today. finest rendition of that song I've ever done. What are you doing? Clothes peg. <laughs> Neodymium magnets. With a strong magnet message strings. Very, very likely. I don't know. F for tuning, but not the tuning. Oh boy. 
I'm gonna try and get some. I'm gonna try and get some time. Bird Cafe is having a bad day. Yeah, it was. It, it was okay. I just kept. I was so worried about this pinging off. Tuning the drum string is just the same as that. Hmm, maybe I'll. Maybe on next time we play that song and it pings off. I don't worry too much about it. <clears throat> Learning today. Learning about music. Learning about banjos. Yeah, so I've not been playing banjo for too long. But um, it's very fun. Um, so like, if, like I don't mind giving like little lessons and stuff or like tips and advice. I'm very, very up for that. So don't be afraid to ask. Uh, I only have a year's experience though, so. and I mostly play claw hammer, and that's it. Um, I would like to get a tenor banjo sometime, but I'm gonna get. I'm probably gonna get a new five string. Pretty soon, I think. Um, I think that's the plan. I might. I'm thinking about going to my local music shop tomorrow and having a look at a few, a few banjos. But I think I'm gonna get yeah, a brand new five string. Pretty soon. Definitely before we start gigging as a band again. Uh, that's the plan. Oh yeah, Heart of Oak. Blue Dot found it right there. Andy, do you have a lovely fancy mask, or just a regular one. E excuse me. What do you mean? I I don't think I have any fancy masks. Oh, a face mask. Oh, oh, uh, like oh, I was like what, like a Batman mask or like a. <laughs> I keep. I haven't been outside for quite a while. Um. I've got a fancy one. We shouldn't talk about Andy's leather mask collection. <laughs> Thanks, social. <laughs> um, I have a fancy one. Yeah, it's not got a fancy pattern on it, but it's it's made of really nice material. It's like a linen, uh, hard wearing. Uh, one. That I, yeah, la last a long time kind of thing. And he goes into the music shop in his in his in his sexy leather mask. Um, T. Glasson, I have a question about playing the banjo. How do you play the banjo? Well, you just like rag on it. You just rag super hard, and um, ping and pop the strings and shout things about stuff. I'm not gonna pick it up. Hi, Tom. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Um, I've made my own mask and my ex-husband ex drew winged ding-dongs on it. <laughs> uh, good. I haven't chewed into that for a while. That's the best description of playing music I've heard. Um, how are you doing, Tea Glass? Tea Glass, how are you doing? Nice to see you. What's going on? What should I do? What should I play chat? I might do Hero of Canton, because I haven't played that for a few streams. So let's let's do that. Let's do that. I'm gonna do that song. I lost my mind a little bit. I blame social system, I think.
We had a woman in our shop last week with a full face mask censored. Written all over it with Sharpie. Great. That sounds great. Oh, thanks for the bits, bluers. Have we done Vatican Rag? No, not yet. Bluegrassy stuff. Uh, I could try Posy Mozzy. Yeah, I'm not very good at it, but there is a couple on, on the thing. Is playing banjo a little different to guitar in terms of plucking? Yes. Uh, yeah, like I said before, there's lots of different ways of playing the banjo. Some of them are very similar to guitar. Um, so on tenor banjos, it's all flat picked. Um, if you're playing jazz or Irish tenor banjo, that's similar to playing guitar. If you're playing a five string, not so much. Um, it's, it's um, yeah, I'll give it a go. There's a couple of songs on, on the list that use finger picks, so maybe I could do that. Uh, yeah, um, what I'm doing is very, very different. And then bluegrass is a little bit different. Um, I'm gonna play Hero of Canton before I talk too much. This is from Firefly, by the way, that sci-fi show that everybody talks about that got cancelled or some crap. Um, if you've not, if you've not watched that, if you've not watched Firefly, just turn the stream off and watch it now. Jane, the man they call Jane, he robbed from the rich. And he gave to the poor Stood up to the man And he gave him what for Our love for him now Ain't hard to explain The hero of Canton The man they call Jane Now Jane saw the mother's backs breaking He saw the mother's lament and he saw the magistrate taking every dollar and leaving five cents. So he said, you can do that to my people. He said, you can crush them under your heel. Jane strapped on his hat and in five seconds flat stole everything Boss Higgins had to steal. He gave Rob from the rich and he gave to the poor Stood up to the man and he gave him what for Our love for him now ain't hard to explain The hero of Canton, the man they call Jane Now here is what separates heroes From common folk like you and I the man they call Jane, he turned around his plane and let that money hit the sky. He dropped it onto our houses, he dropped it into our yard. This is the man they call Jane, he stole away our pain and headed out for the stars. He robbed from the rich and he gave to the poor Stood up to the man and he gave him what for Our love for him now ain't hard to explain The hero of Canton, the man they call Jane Something like that. The man they call Jeff. Cool. Thanks, Boo. Even playing around with your brother's guitar and plucking strings is weird. Watch all of Firefly, then watch the Ranty movie, eat, sleep, and repeat. Or watch Firefly, watch the Ranty movie. Mourn for mourn for a time and then try and blot it out of your memory. Hi, probably Dave. I'm guessing that's probably Dave. Um, bluegrassy stuff, eh? Let's get this pick off off Tibble. 
I'm gonna, what I'm, the mistake I'm making here is putting the picks on before I try to use the computer. Uh, that's Andy's pro tip of the day. I've had enough practice, I think. Uh, what could I do? I mean, like, I don't... Blue, bluegrass is hard, and, and claw hammer's a lot better for accompanying yourself. So the stuff on there I've got is, like, Jolly Rouge is a bit bluegrassy, but not too much. And then, like, In Hell I'll Be Good Company, but the Dead South is, is a lot more. But then, like, I can play... I can... Like, little tunes. Like, I learnt, I learnt Cripple Creek, and I can sort of play... practice it enough like it's not can't get it I need to like yeah so I play I play bluegrass style in a band with JD then we do weddings and stuff and lots of cheesy bluegrass pop stuff so it's kind of it's kind of a lot of simpler stuff um, and we've not been gigging so I've just not been practicing bluegrass style that much <laughs> So yeah, so that so that's a tune called Cripple Creek. So I can play that I can play that claw hammer style as well for See the um, can you hear that? Can you hear the difference in styles? But the same tune, it's like, it's interesting. Uh, yeah, bluegrass sounds super cool. Claw hammers a bit easier to play and like sing at the same time, so that's and I'm more interested in that kind of style. But. <laughs> I, I would say playing bluegrass is a lot harder. Than playing claw hammer, I think, and most people think not not the same for all people, but yeah, bluegrass is difficult, man. Getting used to playing with these is um is super tough. It took a while. Um... Oh gosh. It's so hard, chat. Oh man, I'm so out of practice. Oh dear. Um, yeah. So off the list, I could I could try and hell be good company. Do that. 
let's give it a go. I worry about playing this because I don't practice. I don't practice it enough. <laughs> and then people request it. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a really good song. And I'm scared. This is um possibly not quite in tune. That's what this is. I also find I need to like prop actually warm up before I can like properly do the bluegrass, which sometimes takes a while. At some point I started to play it in hell in standard tuning because I couldn't be bothered to retune my banjo and now I find it much easier in standard than G minor. Oh really? Interesting. Because I can I can play a G minor chord um because it it's it's super difficult to play. Are you playing it claw hammer met washed or are you playing it with finger picks? That's interesting. Because it's just you just tune the um, third string down a little bit, down a semitone, and you've got a G minor chord, and it's super quick. But um, it's pretty difficult to play like you with without finger picks. I don't know, weird. I get maybe I never tried it. Never tried it. What I'm trying to say is I'm impressed. This is uh, by the Dead South. It's called In Hell, I'll Be Good Company. Dead love couldn't go no further. Proud of and disgusted by her. Push of a little bruised and battered. Oh Lord, I ain't coming home with you. My life's a bit more colder. Dead wife is what I told her. Brass knife sinks into my shoulder. Oh babe, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I see my red head mess bed t-shirt queen be my squeeze. The sage of smells tells hells bells misspells knocks me on my knees. It didn't hurt flood blood squirt stuff shut hang me on a tree. After I count down three rounds in hell I'll be good company. Misspells knocks me on my knees. It didn't hurt, flirt, blood, squirt, stuff, shirt, hang me in a tree. After I count down three rounds in hell, I'll be good company.
Something like that. The the beer can opening of the live ones. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not the same without the without the jazzy little bass line and the and the beer cans. Uh it's is a is a cool song though. You hate finger picks. Yeah, that's the, the so that's the thing with finger picks, Metwash. You'll you'll hate them until you've used them for a month. You'll hate them until you force yourself to use them for a month or two, and then you'll never ever want to play without using them again. So, if you, if you want to play like proper bluegrass, um, I know, yeah, I don't want to sound like that guy, but like, yeah, if you wanna, if you want to play like proper bluegrass, really good, you have to use finger picks. There's like, there's no way around to get like the right sound and to get the speed and the um, accuracy, like, yeah. But like, I, I, I hated them too, and until I'd used them and forced myself to use them for about a month and practiced really hard, and then I was like, oh yeah, this is great. Um, um, it's just like, yeah. But if you're, like, if you're not. It's, um. But it's like, yeah. If you don't want to use them though, that's also fine. And I'm not gonna be that guy too much. And your system's merged now. You can't actually remove them. Yeah. Don't use them for don't use them for claw hammer though. Don't use that. Don't do that. If you're interested in playing lots of claw hammer, you don't really need to use finger picks. Some people do um, on their like. So some people put the finger picks on their fingers backwards, like this, and then. And play like that, but it's sound. I don't like it. But I guess maybe those are people who play too much, and then their nail becomes like a like a shredded mess. Instead of listening to the stream, I was doing something absolutely ridiculous. What were you doing, Anathema? You don't have to tell us. You don't have to tell us what you were doing if you don't want to. I also hated the strumming on the fingerboard for a while until I forced myself to, and now it sounds quite nice and pretty comfortable as well. Yeah, yeah. I know you play you play a lot more claw hammer than bluegrass, right, Matt Washed? Yeah, I would. Yeah, do do whatever you're comfortable with, but yeah, if you do if you do ever want to learn some proper bluegrass, playing with finger picks is is the way. It is it is the way? Um, but yeah, it it was. Probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my whole life chat was get comfortable with banjo finger picks. Um, and it it was a, it was a it was a ride. Let me tell you that. Uh, yeah. And then it took it took a month or two, and then I was like, oh yeah, this is. I never I don't want to play without them ever again, because like. Yeah. It it gets you. It means you can your endurance is really high because you're not. You're not. You can play for ages because you're not actually picking the strings with your fingers. Um, and your speed and accuracy gets better, and you get that proper proper twangy bluegrass sound instead of like the muffled, uh, more mellow finger finger picky sound. I think. Um, what did you say? Dragon Force released a bunch of their stuff as isolated tracks. So you acquired a vitamin, a vitamin string quartet cover. Oh, that sounds so cool. Oh my gosh. I want to hear that. Like proper symphonic Dragon Force. Absolutely into that. Uh, what's, what's next, chat? What should I do? I think I feel like I've not played Wellerman for a while. Maybe I should do that. I have a UK cover of Fifth Fire and Flames. I think I I, I flirted with it. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I could do fire burst too. I flirted with fire and flames. Maybe I, I, I think I want to do that properly sometime, but um. But I'm not gonna. Firebirds, okay, okay, let's do that. Right, it's Firebirds, a clutch. They're a rock band from the America. And they're my favourite one. And this is a song about cool cars and ray guns and relationships. Outside of needles, I nearly lost my mind. I pulled over on the shoulder, yeah, and I was there for some time. A young thing came walking from out behind the trees, and she gave me consolation. And this is what she said to me Firebirds, energy weapons. Both these things are interesting to me And I don't care how you get them I need them both and I need them urgently Firebirds, energy weapons Both these things are interesting to me And I don't care how you get them I need them both and I need them urgently said I can get with that Oh, I like those things too But I don't own a firebird Perhaps this Datsun will do Outside of the valley Yeah, we got to overheating She took off her sunglasses and said I believe this bears repeating Firebirds, energy weapons both these things are interesting to me And I don't care how you get them I need them both and I need them urgently Firebirds, energy weapons Both these things are interesting to me And I don't care how you get them I need them both and I need them urgently Outside of Boston, yeah, we got to living on the lamb. Sometimes doing odd jobs, and sometimes living off the land. Yeah, things went sour, and the girl she got to packing. When I asked her why, she said there are two things you were lacking: firebirds, energy weapons. Both these things are interesting to me And I don't care how you get them I need them both and I need them urgently Firebirds, energy weapons Both these things are interesting to me And I don't care how you get them I need them both and I need them urgently
Do I like Nick Jones? Yes, I do like Nick Jones. He is a bit of a legend. Bit of a legend. Um, why? Why do you ask? Fof fof. <clears throat> <laughs> you have a fuck with mandolin. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I was a strongly, hey, hey, bro. <laughs> Sounds like you're trying to sell me some kind of weird drug. You want to buy some mandolin? Um, no, I don't. I don't play mandolin. Um, JD does, I don't, not really ever bother to learn it, not super desperate to. There's a mandolin on the wall over there, but it's not, doesn't belong to me. I've been listening to him a lot, wish I could play guitar like that. Yeah, Nick Jones is, um, he's one of those legendary folk guitarists that did a lot of cool stuff. Living on the lamb, <laughs> it's quite a small area. What does lamb actually mean in the song? It's just L-A-M. What does lamb mean? I don't even know chat. I'm just playing songs and I don't know what they mean. Lamb is like informal slang for hit hard or strike. Oh, on the lamb, ah. On the lamb means running away or being a fugitive from the law. That's what lamb means. Living on the lamb. Lamb as in L-A-M. I didn't know that. On the run from the mob. Bah. Lamb is also very tasty. I, <laughs> just, yeah, they just eat like slow cooked mint roast lamb for dinner every day. That's what that means. Sounds great. Living with a lamb. <laughs> Great. Um, cool. With tatties and neeps. Ooh. Uh, Sally was asking about sheep stealers. I saw that. I saw that. So I, I could sing that if you want. People want that. I get really worried. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Sorry chat, I looked at my phone. Is that an Oyster card? No, it's a Monzo card in my phone. I've got a Monzo card. And if nobody knows what Monzo is, it's that cool hipster bank. chat. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? Yarn. Team post bank. Monzo, yeah. They are good. They are good. I, I use it for budgeting uh, my tax returns and uh, it's super useful when I'm traveling abroad in Europe, which happens quite a lot for band stuff. Because uh, they don't charge uh, for using the card in Europe, so it's basically my my like tax return money pot organization tool, and my traveling abroad holiday money card. That's that's pretty much what I use it for. So it's, um, it's good, useful. 
Sheep Stealers, eh? Okay. I haven't sung this for ages. Build a house down on the moor, we brave boys, to build a house down on the moor. I am uh, build a house down on the moor, moor, moor. The coin jar feature is really good, yes. Tax return management tool, very smart. Self-employment tax is a big site, yeah. I'm used to them now, rumors, but um, yeah, they're not. Tax returns are not fun. Not very fun. Uh, right, I'm gonna sing Sheep Stealers. Uh, also known as a brisk lad. This is a old folk song. Good morning, Andy. In before Trelawney arrives. Good. Yeah, we're talking about sheep and stuff quite a lot. <clears throat> uh, this is yes. Yeah, this is an old folk song. I am a brisk lad whose fortune is bad. In fact, I am wondrous poor. But indeed I intend my fortune to mend And to build a house down on the moor, me brave boys And to build a house down on the moor My brother he keeps fat oxen and sheep in a neat little nag on the downs In the middle of the night When the moon does shine bright There's a great deal of work to be done, me brave boys There's a great deal of work to be done Well, I'll roam all around on another man's ground And I'll take a fat you for me own And with the aid of my knife I'll shorten its life And on my back I will carry it home, me brave boys And on my back I will carry it home my children will pull the skin from the wool Then I'll weather it down to the bone And when the constables do come I'll stand with me gun And I'll swear all I have is me own, me brave boy and I'll swear all I have is me own. I am a brisk lad whose fortune is bad. In fact, I am wondrous poor. But indeed I intend my fortune to mend. And to build a house down on the moor, me brave boys. And to build a house down on the moor. Tickety boo. Thanks, everybody. I'm going to have to... You never realise how much you don't understand about sail until you had to draw ring in silhouette. <laughs> Boats are hard to draw. Tiggity-poo. Club. App. Thanks, Anathema. Believe to... Sheep stealers. Believe to originated from southern England in or around 1905. Collected by Henry Hammond as performed by George Doden. Yeah, also known as the Brisk Lad. <laughs> that question mark. Good job. <laughs> nice stream elements. Confused. Clap. Applaud. 
Maybe? Great. I'm gonna have to deal with tax returns starting next year. Ah, t I mean, it's it's very exciting going freelance, but yeah, tax returns isn't. My taxes are quite simple. Um, I've kind of managed to get my head around them. So they're not too hard. And I used to work for an accountancy firm. So I have some kind of grasp. I didn't do accounts, I was just an IT guy. I didn't, I didn't learn or do any accounting, but I was around a lot of people doing it. So I kind of got, managed to grasp some bits but yeah, do it. My tax return is not too sim, not too hard because it's just self-employed music stuff. Um, yeah, just like all the money kind of comes in from one place, and it all gets taxed by the same amount. And then I just write my expenses down, chuck them in, and that's pretty much it. Anyway, this isn't a uh, this isn't a learn how to do your own account stream, is it? Let's not do that. Did you perhaps steal my pick? Because I can't find it. Yeah, I did. I, uh, I broke in last night. I flew in through the window. Uh, I stole your pick and I, I flew back out. And then all the way home. Um... Pick fair, and he is secretly Batman. Yeah, I'm just a shit Batman. Tell you what, one thing about playing Clawhammer Banjo is not having to worry about picks. Pretty great. And ukulele, I don't use a pick on ukulele. Just these these three finger picks. I don't use them too much, but yeah, having, having to look after three finger picks is um, it's difficult. But... Does that make Boo Dot the Joker? Yeah, that is an apt description. Uh, what should I do, chat? Maybe I was thinking about Angelina Baker, actually. Maybe not. Maybe I don't want to do that. You worry about my claw and pick all the time. I grew out my middle finger now. <laughs> uh, what is claw hammer? Claw hammer is a style or technique of playing the five string banjo, which is what I do most of the time. Wellerman, I'll I'll do Wellerman. Um, I'm gonna play a banjo song, and then and then I'm gonna play Wellerman. Claw hammer is a style of playing banjo. So you have your hand in a claw like this, and you kind of hammer down on the top string with your thumb, and that's kind of where it comes from. So it's like. That's claw hammer. That's the brief. That's a brief explanation. Oh, big iron! Everybody was talking about big iron. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then, then I'll play well, man. Somebody asked about Big Iron a while ago. I just finished recording a cover of it in Audacity. Nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna play Big Iron. Then I'll play then I'll play Well Amen. Uh, 
yeah. Big Iron, Marty Robbins. Spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. But the stranger there amongst them had a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. He came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw, loose and running, came a whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. In this town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him, and that many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer, though a youth of 24. And the notches on his pistol numbered one and ninety more. One and ninety more. Now the stranger started talking, made it plain to folks around. Was an Arizona Ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take an outlaw back alive or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, he was after Texas Red. After Texas Red. Wasn't long before the story was relayed to Texas Red. But the outlaw didn't worry, men that tried before were dead. Twenty men that tried to take him, twenty men and made a slip. Twenty-one would be the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. Well, the morning passed so quickly, it was time for them to meet. It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from the windows, everybody held their breath. And they knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death. About to meet his death. There was forty feet between them when they stopped to make their play. And the swiftness of the ranger is still talked about today. Texas red and not cleared leather when a bullet fairly ripped. And the ranger's aim was deadly with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. It was over in a moment and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh, he might have went on living, but he made one fatal slip when he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. Big iron, big iron. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip, big iron on his hip. Wah -wah. Big iron. I've got chores to do. See you later. Thanks, Percival Fenris, for stopping by. Can we get a heavy metal Big Iron cover? Because I'm pretty sure Big Iron would be heavy metal.
It's got to be like a. It's got to be a proper like hardcore punk version. Maybe like a hardcore punk version of Big Iron would actually sound really good. Um, I'm not going to do that for you now. Marcy Robbins gives me a smile like a buffoon, except El Paso. Maybe that one cuts a little too close to home. I love I love Marty Robbins songs so much. That um, Gunfighter ballads LP is one of my favourites ever. Did you squeak that link past the bot? No. No, you didn't. The bot is a an immovable wall. You could DM it to Boodot and then Boodot can decide if it's if it's good or not. If you do that. If you're desperate to share the link to whatever it is. Boodot can decide if it's appropriate. Um, but yeah, we have, we have, you can't, you can't, you can't get past the bot unless you can. Well, man, that's what I said I was doing. Uh, I like, I like El Paso. It's a good one. Yeah, there's a, Is it, is it a heavy metal big iron? Is that what it is? Um, what's the one he does that I really like? Hanging Me Tonight? Is that, is that one of the songs off that album? That one. Oh, I love that song so much. chat. Oh, it's almost 12 o'clock. I'm just looking at Discord. Don't worry about me. What are those sausages, Boo Dot? What, what are in those? Did you talk about them already? They look great. <laughs> Homemade chorizo sausages that you're smoking. Ah, yes. Oh man, looks pretty cool. Right, well a man, that folk song that you've probably heard. A ship that put to sea And the name of that ship was the Billy of Tea The winds blew hard about him down Blow me, bully boys, blow Soon may the weller man come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tongue in his tongue We'll take our leave and go
She had not been two weeks from shore When down on her a white rail bore The captain called all hands and swore He'd take that whale in tow Soon may the weller man come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her all hands to the side, harpooned and fought her when she dived down below. Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. No line was cut, no whale was free The captain's mind was not on greed But he belonged to the whaleman's creed She took that ship in tow Soon may the weller man come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go For forty days, or even more, the line went slack, then tight once more. All boats were lost, there were only four, but still that whale did go. Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight's still on The line's not cut and the whale's not gone The weller man makes his regular call To encourage the captain, crew and all Soon may the weller man come To bring us sugar and tea and rum One day when the tonguing is done We'll take our leave and go Soon may the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Thanks, Budok. Yeah, I did say it wrong. I said I said white rail. The dreaded white rail. Oh, well, a man, I love you, baby. <laughs> Island vibes, yeah. Um, probably got one song left in me, I think. But what could it be? What should I play? I don't know. Stop crossing genres, presumably, Dave. Dave can cross genres all he likes. Oh, man. I should probably play Colours of the Wind, shouldn't I? I've not played Greasy Coat for a while. Maybe, maybe I'll do Greasy Coat and Colours of the Wind. How about that? That song so much. Oh, greasy coat. I've not played you for ages. Why haven't I played this for long for, for a long time? <clears throat> right. This is a this is an American folk song called Greasy Coat.
chew and I don't mess with girls that do. the genre cross the road you're going to finish off that joke bloomers because I want to hear the end um, I've heard rumours that you and JD did grog mails on CFEs but can't find it on any stream it's on a lot of streams LML yeah, we do it quite a lot. I've played it on this stream a bunch of times. I've played it on... Uh, I think it's been played on full band streams a few times. Uh, yeah, it's definitely there. It's very good. It's a very good song. I mean, I could I could be tempted to do that right now. To be TBH. Maybe I'll add in. Maybe I'll chuck another song in there. Maybe I'll play Grog Mails and then Colors of the Wind. Or maybe I'll play Colors of the Wind and then Grog Mails. Let's do Grog Mails. Let's do that. Just, just for you. This is without JD, but um, hey, whatever. Who needs that guy? I've not done Vatican Rag, no, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play two more songs and then I'm definitely gonna go. So I'm gonna play Grog Mails and Sea of Thieves. And then I'm probably gonna play Colours of the Wind from the old Disney verse. So yeah, Grog Mails, Sea of Thieves. Ooh. All right. That was awful chat. Let's do that again. Hook, go.
There's a tale of old the sea dogs told about the most fearsome marauder. He was such a brute, he'd take all your loot, then he'd sail off with your daughter. Now who was this loathsome rat, you say, who sailed the seven seas? He'd take on all the merchant ships and bring them to their knees. Grog males, grog males, black hearted to the core. Grog males, grog males, the gold he did adore. With a hand on the wheel and the other on his sword, he gets strung up if he glanced at his hoard. Yes, he was properly hard as nails, and they call him grog males. Well, I get the feeling you're not hearing how frightening he would be. He could skin your chest right through your vest while he cutlassed off your knees. He'd plow his ship through storm and see no other pirate dead. He'd plunder all the lubbers, loot no treasure chest was spared. Grog males, grog males, black hearted to the core. Grog males, grog males, pirate provocator. Now is he dead? Cause we're not sure. I thought I saw him at the tavern next door. Yes, he is rather fond of ale. And they call him Groggery Male. Oh, I love that song. Oh, it's good. Groggers, my doggers. Right, let's do Colors of the Wind and I'm gonna go, because I am uh, hungry. Oh, it's raining outside, chat. Can you hear that through the microphones? It's uh, raining a lot. <laughs> oh boy. Exciting. Was thundering near you a little while ago. Ooh. <laughs> Loggers. Log champ. No worries, Alamel. It's my pleasure. I love playing that song. Um... Shite hawk. Welcome to the last song of the stream. Uh, right. This is going to be my love song to you. <laughs> I forget I said that. That's a bad time. Oh boy. Chords, how do they work? It's just a dead thing you can claim But I know every rock and tree and creature Has a life, has a spirit, has a name You think the only people who are people Are the people who look and think like you But if you walk the footsteps of a stranger You'll learn things you never knew, you never knew have you ever the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? Or ask the grinning bobcat why he grinned? Can you sing with all the voices of the mountain? Can 
you paint with all the colors of the wind? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Come run the hidden pine trails of the forest. Come taste the sun sweet berries of the earth. Come roll in all the riches all around you. And for once, never wonder what there were. The rainstorm and the river are my brothers. The heron and the otter are my friends. And we are all connected to each other. In a circle, in a hoop that never ends. How high does a sycamore grow? If you cut it down, then you'll never know. And you'll never hear the wolf cry to the blue corn moon. For whether we are white or copper skins, you need to sing with all the voices of the mountain. You need to paint with all the colors of the wind. You can own the earth and still. All you'll own is earth until You can paint with all the colors of the wind oh, Great I need a wind machine. <laughs> oh boy, I don't. I do not want a wind machine. A wind. A wind machine. A wind machine. Um, blowing in my face the whole time. No thanks. Um. Cool. Thanks, Arian. Thanks for lurking and still off. The rain is soothing. I'm gonna have to walk around in it in a minute. But that's fine. Uh, cool. Um, I'm gonna go and eat some food. Uh, what's on the schedule today? Schedule today. Um, six o'clock today in just under six hours. Uh, Dave just posted it before I said it. Uh, under six hours, we're playing Sea of Thieves with Crotuck. Hooray! We're going to be sailing and doing some sea shanties. In just under six hours, see if these crow be there or don't. Uh, that's also fine. Who's Dave? That's presumably Dave. Sorry. Um. Look, there he is. He's typing. Oh my gosh. Oh, such, such, such information. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> true, true statement I've never heard. Um, yeah, cool. I'm <laughs> right, I'm going to head off. Peace out, everybody. Uh, have a great day. Uh, maybe come back at six or don't. That's also fine. Um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for being here. Bye, everybody.